Good day to you out there. This is chemistry class and the topic we are treating today is mode concept. At the end of watching this video, if you love it, if you like it, please subscribe, share and like the button. Thank you. More concept will be discussed under these headings. The first part will be in terms of relative atomic mass and or relative molecular mass. Relative atomic mass is for the element, while relative molecular mass is for the compound. Then we will go on to treat more concepts under Avogadro's number, which is a constant given as 6.02 times 10 to the power 23 per mole of any substance. And lastly, we will discuss more concepts under molar volume of gases. That is 22.4 dm cube per mole of any gas at STP. STP represents standard temperature and pressure. Now, let's go there. Now, these are example questions on more concepts in terms of relative atomic mass and relative molecular mass. Okay, let's have a look at this question and see how we go about it. For the start, you need to know that mole can be calculated using the formula mass over relative molecular mass in terms of compound or mass over relative atomic mass in terms of element. Now, the first example question. We want to find how many moles of substance are present in 20 grams of sodium hydroxide. Sodium hydroxide is a compound. Therefore, we have to find relative atomic mass. I mean, sorry, relative molecular mass for compounds. Please take note. Relative molecular mass. And how do we find that? Relative molecular mass will be by adding the atomic masses of the constituent elements together. So, sodium is given to be 23. That is the atomic mass of sodium, 23. That of oxygen is 16. Hydrogen is 1. When added, we get 40. That is the relative molecular mass of sodium hydroxide. 40 grams per mole. Grams per mole. Grams per mole. Alright, now, having done this, we now recall the formula, which is this. Relative molecular mass. So, mole will be equal to the given mass is 20 grams divided by 40 and that is 0 0.5 mole that is for question A now for question B let's see how we go about that we have 2 grams of oxygen gas Oxygen gas. There is something you need to know about oxygen. Oxygen is a diatomic element. And when we say oxygen gas, it means we are referring to molecule of that gas. And a molecule of oxygen gas, being a diatomic element, can only be written as capital O substrate 2. That is, Two atoms of oxygen make 
one molecule of the gas. Two atoms of oxygen make one molecule of the gas. But it's not all elements that we have two atoms in their molecule. Please take note of that. I'm going to give you the list of diatomic elements. That is the elements whose molecule contain two atoms. So any other element outside those can be a single atom in their molecule. All right. So for that means this amount I'm going to deal with relative atomic mass because I'm referring to a single element. And relative atomic mass of oxygen is given to be 16. So but because oxygen gas molecule contains two atoms. So I will have to use these two to multiply that 16. That will be 16 times 2. That will give me 32 grams per mole. Okay, having done that, I will now call for the formula. Mole is mass over molar mass, and the mass of oxygen gas given is 2 grams, divided by 32. Let's see that one give that's 1 over 16. 1 over 16 mole. That is the solution to that problem. All right. For the last question, is also on oxygen, but take note, it says 8 grams of oxygen atom. You can see, there's a difference between oxygen atom and oxygen gas. As I told you previously, oxygen gas means a molecule of that gas, and the molecule of oxygen contains two atoms, written as capital O subscript 2 because oxygen is a diatomic element. I am not saying all elements must have two atoms in their molecules. Only the diatomic elements. Please take note of that. And I promise I'm going to give you the list of diatomic elements uh, in the course of this uh, class. Alright, so that means relative that question C now Relative atomic mass of uh, oxygen atom is 16. That means I'm not going to multiply by 2. So mole now will be mass given, which is 8, over atomic mass, which is 16. And that is uh, 1 over 2 mole. That is the end of that. All right, this is another example. The first one, but before I go on these examples, here is the list of diatomic elements I promised. There are seven in number. Hydrogen, chlorine, oxygen, nitrogen, fluorine, bromine, iodine. There are seven in number. You can see that each of them has substrate two. That is a molecule of each. So any number you see behind each of them is the number of molecule. So since there is no any visible number behind each of them, it means one one molecule of each is what you are seeing. But by the time if I put say three at the back or behind H2 here, that means three molecules of hydrogen. If I put five, behind I2, that means somewhere here, it means five molecules of iodine, and so on. All right, now, let's have a look at solution to question one. We want to find the number of mole present in 16 grams of sulfur. Don't forget that sulfur is an, act, is an element, and it's not among it's not in the list of diatomic elements. Therefore, sulfur will exist as a single atom. Meaning that relative atomic mass of uh, sulfur 
is equal to 32. So that means I'm going to use 32. Now, mole, as it has been given, is mass over relative atomic mass. And that will be, the mass given is 16. And relative atomic mass is 32. So number of mole will be 1 over 2. That is for question 1. As for question 2, we are asked to find how many grams of substance are present in 0 0.1 mole of sodium carbonate. Sodium carbonate, which can also be pronounced as sodium trioxocarbonate 4. That is in Park nomenclature. Sodium trioxocarbonate 4. And here is the chemical formula for sodium trioxocarbonate 4. Or simply put, sodium carbonate. And here are the given atomic masses of the constituent elements. Sodium is 23, carbon is 12, oxygen is 16. So now, it is obvious that sodium trioxocarbonate 4 is a compound. Therefore, we have to find relative molecular mass of that compound. That's the first step. Question 2. Relative molecular mass of sodium trioxocarbonate 4. That will be sodium is 23. I will need to multiply by 2 because there is a substitute 2 telling us that we have two atoms of sodium in this compound. Plus carbon is a single carbon atom, so that will be 12. Plus oxygen has three atoms here, that will now be 16 times 3. So, and by the time you do the calculation, you get 106 gram per mole. All right. Having done that, the next thing, don't forget we are given 0 0.1 mole. So what do we do? Since mole equals mass over relative molecular mass, what you do now is you substitute. The mole given in the question is 0 0.1. So I'm writing 0 0.1 to replace mole. The grams we are asked to find is this mass. So I'm writing that mass as it is. And relative molecular mass or molar mass, simply put, for sodium carbonate is 106. So mathematically, we cross multiply. So mass will be 0 0.1 times 106. And that will give me 10.6 grams. That is the mole, and that is the number of grams we have. 10.6 grams. So if you like this uh, video, please subscribe and press the like button, then share. So once you subscribe, you will have access to every of my newly produced video as soon as it is done. So the next part we are going to have will be on more concepts in terms of Avogadro's number. See you. Thank you.